What's up guys, welcome to Sandbox Explorer. My name is Dave Higgins and today I'm going to be doing a review on Rogue Aces for the Nintendo Switch. Now to my understanding, the similarities between Rogue Lights and Rogue Light games is that you start out with the bare minimum, you have to go through and get different upgrades and collectibles on procedurally generated maps, and you go through until you die. When you die, you're done and you start over. But the difference between the two is that with a roguelike, when you die, you don't get to keep anything when you start over. You just do everything from scratch again and that's it. With a roguelite, like Dead Cells, you get to keep some of your abilities and some of your upgrades. Now if that's correct, and I apologize if I'm a little off, but Rogue Aces would fall under the Rogue Light category because as you keep playing and getting experience points, you level up your, your pilot and you end up getting upgrade slots and upgrade abilities that you can implement into the beginning of at least campaign mode to make your plane a little bit stronger to start out. Either way, it's a really fun game to pick up and play for small increments or large increments of time. Now there's three game modes in Rogue Aces. There's campaign, there's arcade, and there's training. When you first start the game, you only have one available, and that's the normal campaign mode. You start out on your own aircraft carrier, and you get assigned various random missions on a procedurally generated map. Uh, it can range from you have to destroy five enemy tanks, to you have to go find and destroy a zeppelin, to taking over an enemy base. To, there's a bunch of different ones that they can assign to you. If you neutralize an enemy base, you can land on it and take it over, make it become a friendly base that you can land on to refuel or repair your ship when you need to do so. You can manually land your plane by decelerating and timing it right, or you can use some of your points that you've accumulated over this particular playthrough, and you can auto land. Once you land, you'll be assigned another mission at random. If for some reason you've completed one of them while you are out by destroying whatever was gonna be next, you'll automatically complete that and be assigned a new one. And in this mode, you have three lives, which are taken in the form of three planes that you can actually see on your aircraft carrier. And in any given game, you have a bunch of enemies that you have to take care of on the ground, in the sea, but you also have a bunch of other planes that are trying to take you down. And one of the things you wanna focus on in this game is taking down those planes because not all of them, but a good amount of the planes that you shoot down will drop these crates, and with the crates you have different abilities you can use to upgrade your plane for that playthrough, such as accelerated firing, accelerated plane, uh, firepower is stronger, or you can turn faster, carry more rockets or bombs, and you keep going at it until they finally take down your third plane. Now the rest of the game modes you have to unlock, besides training, but I mean, that makes sense. After you've captured your first enemy base, you'll unlock Frontline Campaign. Frontline Campaign is a mode where you start out in the bottom left-hand corner of a map filled with islands, and then the top right-hand corner is a base where the Baron starts out. The Baron is a much stronger and powered up version of the planes that you'll encounter regularly on the map. The point of this mode is to move from randomly generated island to randomly generated island to complete randomly generated missions until you eventually can get to the top right-hand corner and take over the Baron's base. Now you have two days and 12 hours to complete this mode. Each time you succeed or fail at trying to take over an island, the clock goes down by two hours. Now it's important to note that regardless of whether you win or lose an attempt to take over an island, the Baron always succeeds and moves on to a closer island towards you. So it's important to try to shoot down as many plants as you can and collect as many upgrades as you can by the time you get to the Baron because if you're ill prepared for him, you're not gonna fare very well. Now the last mode in the campaign menu is Veteran Campaign. To unlock this mode, you have to reach the 20th mission in Normal Campaign and defeat your first Baron in that mode. The tough as nails pilot I just described in the last mode outline. The good news for unlocking this mode is that by the time you've reached the 20th mission, if you can, is that you most likely will have acquired enough power-ups to actually defeat the Baron relatively easily if you've gotten the skills down to do so. Veteran Campaign is basically Normal Campaign on steroids. There's more enemies and they're all stronger. You also don't have the auto land option, so you have to do it all on your own. Good luck. Now those are the three campaign modes. So now we'll talk about the four arcade modes that are available to you in Rogue Aces. Now survival mode is probably the first or second mode that you'll unlock in the game. In order to unlock this mode, you have to defeat 20 pilots in normal campaign. In survival mode, you only have one plane. That should be pretty obvious because it's called survival mode. And it's basically just an infinite dogfight for as long as you can survive. There's no islands, there's no sea enemies, there's no land enemies, it's just other planes. Now you can land your plane on your aircraft carrier if you've taken too much damage and you need to repair, but you'll lose your multiplier if you do so. 
Now if you need your plane repaired but you don't want to land and lose your multiplier, the way to do so is in a maneuver that's not really outlined by the game. That move is called an aerial steal. To perform an aerial steal, you press A and it'll prompt you if you want to eject your pilot from the plane. If you press A again, you will eject your plane. Now when you do that, you have two options. You can press A and deploy your parachute, safely go down, or you can let your pilot just free fall to its death. Now, if you want to perform an aerial steal, you need to eject your pilot from your plane, but not deploy the parachute, and you have to do it at just the right time that when you go up in the air, you'll land on another plane and take it over. That'll cause the enemy pilot to be knocked out of their plane, and then you'll get to continue over with their plane. Now, when doing this, you want to make sure that you steal a plane that's in good condition, because if you steal one that's in bad condition, your game's probably going to end pretty quick. Another important thing to note when doing this is that when you actually successfully steal the plane, your acceleration is all the way down. So you want to make sure to throttle all the way up right away, or you might crash your plane and be swimming with the fishes. The second arcade mode is called Bomber Defense. To unlock this, it's not obvious at all. To unlock this mode, you have to watch the credits, and you'll start out with a pilot parachuting down. After about 15 seconds, I believe, he'll end up landing in a bomber plane. When he lands in the bomber plane, you take your right joystick and you aim it in any particular direction and you'll notice that there's gunfire. There's enemy planes flying by, and if you shoot them down, once you get five of them, you'll get a notification on your screen that you've unlocked bomber defense mode. Once you actually go into that mode, you end up being the pilot of the bomber. It's the same as the credits where you're not controlling the plane, you're just controlling the gunfire and it gets crazy very fast. It starts out with a few planes and then there's just a ton of them. It's really random, but it's a cool little bonus that they added into the game. The third arcade mode is called Hot Potato. Hot Potato mode is unlocked using the method that I described at the end of the survival mode outline. In any mode that you can perform an aerial steal, after you've performed three of them in one playthrough, you'll get a notification that you've unlocked this mode. I recommend doing this in normal campaign mode because you have three planes, three lives, and as long as you do it between the start and end of a playthrough, you unlock it. In this mode, you have no guns, no rockets, no bombs. The only goal that you have is to eject from your plane and steal other planes. So you're hot potatoing from one plane to the next without getting shot down by those ones. Eventually, you're going to get shot down. It's not the shining star mode of the game, but it's pretty cool that they added this mode as well as the bomber defense mode. Switch up your gameplay a little bit. And now the last arcade mode, I haven't even unlocked yet. The only reason I know about it is because I googled it. It's fittingly called Rogue Ace. Now in this mode, you don't have any missions or upgrades, and that's because your plane starts out fully upgraded. The only thing is, all the enemy planes are also fully upgraded. So it is bound to be insane. There is no auto landing in this mode, and the only thing marked on the map is the nearest friendly base. To unlock this mode, you have to get your plane to 50% maximum power. That's around mission 40 of normal campaign. I've gotten just past mission 20 of normal campaign, so if you've unlocked this mode, Good for you. The third game mode is training mode where you can do basically anything you want. You can't crash into the ground and you have unlimited rockets and bombs so you can lay waste to anything in your path. It's good for honing your flying skills and learning the game mechanics but really the best way to do that is to just jump headfirst into campaign mode because you're not going to be able to just carpet bomb entire islands in the other game modes. But it's still really fun to do. So that about covers it. Rogue Aces is a really fun arcade style game that you can pick up on the Nintendo eShop for $12.99. Thanks for tuning in. I'll leave a link to the game down below in the description. Like this video if you liked it. Leave a comment and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Yeah.